Uh, hello and welcome to another my tutorial. This is my Sotelo and uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make com uh, harmless computer pranks uh, for you to use on your friend. Uh, let's begin by uh, by showing you what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, we'll be making a batch file that contains a specific code and that code is going to do something. Uh, we're not going into much detail on the code uh, because uh, I don't have uh, that much time at the moment. Uh, you can always go to Google and find more codes that you can uh, use for better pranks. But I will be teaching you a simple prank that you that you can do just just to have fun. Well, let's begin by opening a new document with Notepad, and we are going to type the following, which is. Okay, well, as you can see, I have my code right here already. Uh, basically, what this is gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna begin to shut down the the, the computer, but it's gonna do it within this time. Uh, the the time is in seconds, so it's, it's gonna be 100 seconds, which the with that which that comes to a minute and 40 seconds. Now this right here will be a message that's gonna pop up on with a uh, little box in Windows XP or on, on, on a small balloon message uh Windows Vista and uh Windows 7. Okay, well now that that, that we understand what, what's gonna happen, let's uh make it shall we? We go to file, save as and then uh, we're gonna go to our desktop of course or uh, whatever you feel comfortable saving it out. You can click all files, make sure this is all files and then we can we can do this we can uh, call it uh prank that b a t do not forget that b a t you can call it you can call it whatever you want as long as it's that b a t o otherwise the prank will not work so now that we have that you're gonna save it and here we go we don't need this open anymore and and as you can see here it is okay now uh uh, as you as I already said before, uh, this 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 is gonna start shutting down the computer within that uh, amount of uh, time that you gave it. But of course, uh, I don't. Uh, I usually don't encounter people that will just click on that file, especially because it has this that weird icon that looks like belongs to the system file. So, uh, I w what I will do in this case is uh, grab this little program which is called. BAT to EXE converter uh, basically means that it's gonna convert this little file, batch file, into an executable file, which uh, you can you can hide a you can add a couple of uh, information to make it legit. Now uh, you, you are gonna require uh, an icon for you to choose from, and uh, we have one set up, which is this little laptop icon that I have right here. <coughs> So let's open up the batch to exe cover. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can go to Google and just Google this and find it. I uh, will provide a, a link to it, but uh, you can always find it through Google if you, if, uh, you you don't like this version. There are several other other uh, free programs out there that will do basically the same thing. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm using this one that I already have. Basically, what what you're gonna do right here is is I'll go find your uh, batch file in your desktop of course and uh, click it click open and then uh, as you can see right here it has the input which is a prank that BAT and it has the output which is a prank that EXE now uh, in in uh, Windows Vista and uh, Windows 7 if you if you make it invisible uh, Microsoft security Essentials will detect that as a virus of course you know there's not a virus because you are the one who created it but uh if you but but you can always leave it visible which doesn't really make much of a difference you can add a uh, you can script the uh, the program with a with a password that's up to you and uh and other than that you there's nothing more you you, sh you should worry about now if you go to the version information tab this is where all the information gets added you can include the version information 
which will be file version, product version, company, product name, and so on. Now, where this is an icon file, you can choose your own preset icon, which is the one I already told you guys about, which is the uh, portable computer icon. You just click that, and then you just click compile. And we have it done. As you can see, this lo it looks this looks a little more better. This looks a lot better than to send than just this little square box with those that just looks weird and people will, when, and your friends will not uh, trust it, even if it comes from you. Uh, now uh, you 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 can always. Uh, you can always choose different icons there are plenty out there just google icons and you will find them um, as for uh, uh, batch file batch files uh, pranks you can just google batch file pranks uh, so and so on and for the BAT to EXE converter you can google that or you or you can download it from my uh, from the link I, uh, from the link I will provide uh, thank you for your time, and if you uh, en enjoyed this tutorial, please uh, subscribe to uh, to 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 our YouTube uh, um, channel, and or uh, you can always visit uh, Teacher for Me that info for more tutorials such as this. Thank you for your time, and goodbye.